Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3 in your Web3 programming series for beginners. This episode we're going to talk about how to start development. So how do we get an environment where we can code smart contracts? Well, there's two different approaches and the one I'm going to start with is not necessarily what I would recommend long term, but it makes getting started so much easier and it's a fabulous tool and that is Remix. It's a tool that you can use in the browser and it just gets you started you can just go. The other option is to get a local environment on your computer using Visual Studio Code. It's a little bit more to set up and requires a little bit more to interact with your smart contracts. So we'll start with Remix and once you have things figured out, switching over to a local environment with an editor like Visual Studio Code and using tools like Hardhat or whatever it may be, that's going to be a lot easier. So you can find Remix at remix.ethereum.org. And from here, there are a few example contracts in this contracts folder. So we'll take a look at these. And by the end of this video, our goal is to have a pretty decent understanding of how to run this code and what's going on. So what does this code do? It allows us to store a number and then retrieve that number. And this number is going to be stored on the blockchain. So to run this, basically we will right click storage.soul and the dot .soul is short for solidity. So that's what this programming language you're looking at is. And you're going to compile. It's going to make a bunch of new stuff in here and you'll see this green check mark over here on the left. I will go ahead and click this auto compile, which is very handy, I'd recommend you do that. And now from the left, there is this deploy and run transactions. And from here, there's different environments you can run in. So the JavaScript VM is all local to right here. It doesn't touch any of the test nets. And this is great for quick testing. Injected Web 3 allows us to use a wallet such as MetaMask. Now, I just realized it says no injected Web3 provider found. You will definitely want to make sure you have MetaMask. I thought I'd be smart and do this incognito so I didn't have all my other files, but that's fine. I'll just go through that same exact process over here. So I brought that over to this environment, and now when we save, we can go over to environment injected Web3 and it'll see what network we are using. So as you go over here, you can switch to a different test net. I'll go ahead and use Rinkaby, which I know we got test net ETH on in the previous video. So we'll switch that there. And you can see it noticed that change. And you hit deploy. MetaMask is going to pop up asking you to confirm this, you can see it says gas and has an amount. So any of these transactions will cost gas. This is how you can execute code on the blockchain. So the more complex the application, the more gas it's going to use. And we will say that more as we interact with the contract. So let's go ahead and you can change this setting here. So you can go with low for really slow, market for average and aggressive for a little bit faster. So since we're working with testnet crypto, it's not really that big of a deal, but if you're working with real crypto, this is going to cost more. So you can see it has a little bit more of a max fee. In other words, you're willing to pay extra for things to go a little bit faster. So we'll go ahead and hit confirm. It'll do some stuff down here in the terminal. And there we go, it pops up saying it has been deployed. You can see it here on the left, and this is how we interact with our contract. So from here, we can store a value. Let's say five, and we will hit store. Again, this is a transaction. Confirm that transaction. And now when we hit retrieve, we get the value five. So once again, let's go through what's going on here. We are executing this store function. We're passing in a number, specifically five, that gets stored in this variable number, which is part of the contract. And then later when we retrieve those funds, it'll just return that number. So this is a deployed contract. You can add this to your resume. You're officially a Solidity expert. So to figure out how to do that, well, basically you can hit this copy button and then from Etherscan for whatever testnet you're on, you can paste that in here. 
And that's going to bring up this contract where you can see those transactions. So there's your officially deployed contract on the testnet. Stay tuned for the next video. I look forward to seeing you there.